Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. I hope you're all having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today. We are back with another speed build, it feels like it's been a while, it's been at least a couple of weeks since I've done a speed build on the channel so this feels really good, I'm going to be honest first of all. But we are building three suburban family homes on this 50 by 40 lot in Del Sol Valley. Now. I think we just need to talk about something for a second. Can you see this lot? Okay, right on the front of the lot, there's like three separate pathways to this one lot. Have we been getting hints about for rent since Get Famous came out? I'm just gonna throw that out there for the room. It's a question for the room. Answer me in the comments down below because I didn't even think about building on this lot. And I know that a lot of creators have decided to do this and it's genius because obviously we have the three pathways leading to this. And I just thought, do you know what? Let's just build three suburban family homes on one lot. Yeah, I a few weeks ago, I think it was around a month ago now, I built two houses in Evergreen Harbour, which is the world that came with Eco Lifestyle. And I absolutely adored doing that. So I thought, ooh, Next step's three, <laughs> let's do three. Then maybe we might do four and five. Although I do have an ongoing project on the channel if uh, nobody is aware. I'm doing like a real time build where I'm building townhouses for all the townie families in The Sims 4. So I'm like, kind of like forcing them all to live on one lot. It's kind of fun. I'll pop a card in the right hand corner for you if you'd like to check that out. Next episode, I'm going to be filming, I believe tomorrow, for release for either mid next week or next weekend i haven't decided yet what what the plan is there but yes i am i am in the works of recording for the next episode i'm so excited anyway how are you all i feel like we need to catch up i have <laughs> so i had a week off from work and well it ended up being more like 10 or 11 days off from work and for the first three days i was in complete agony with my neck i managed to pull my neck and it hurt to sit up, it hurt to lay down, it hurt to just be. So that was fun. And then when I started to feel better with my neck, my body decided, oh no, we're not done yet. And I developed this really nasty, kind of like chesty dry cough. It wasn't, it wasn't C, it was not, it was not. But I think I had some sort of chest infection and that's lasted for just short of two weeks. And I've just now started to feel somewhat human again. And that's why uploading has been a little bit sporadic. I know I did, I did a live stream for a wonderful charity just over a week ago now and I was coughing so badly. I felt awful. I really did. I, w I was just like, because I was coughing, I didn't feel awful because I felt awful. I just, I just, I was, I was feeling bad that I was coughing so much during the live stream. And I was just like, oh no, why does this have to be happening now? But yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better now. So <laughs> long may this continue and I can get back to some sort of schedule with recording content and uploading content in between working and various other aspects of my life. But yeah, I, I'd love to know how you're all doing, what's going on in your worlds. I can't believe we're in the middle of February. I, I don't understand how this is happening. I, I say this every year, I feel. At some point during a voiceover, I'm like, I can't believe this is the date. But it just feels like, again, the year is already going by so quickly and it's the middle of February like what what's going on there and I'm actually really excited because okay so the plan for today was to uh record film whatever you want to call it some sort of content for the sims and upload to my channel okay tick cross box now Tomorrow, I'm actually going for afternoon tea with my mum and my sister, and I'm very excited for this. I haven't been for afternoon tea in ages, and so I'm really excited for that. What are your weekend plans? And then all of a sudden, it'll be Monday, and it's like, okay, now it's Monday. Brilliant. <laughs> the weekends seem to go by too quickly, too quickly for my liking, at least. So I'd be interested to see if, if it's the same thing for everybody else. I would assume it is but you know, let's, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I think we should probably talk about the build a little bit now. So 
<laughs> I'm not going to put any reference images on screen for you. Usually when I'm building, I'll say, I've used this reference image and I'll pop it up on screen for you so that you can have a look and see what I was working from. But with this one, I used various reference images from like Google images, Pinterest, a number of different sources and I just kind of mashed them all together and then I took it in a completely different direction with color schemes and vibes and things like that. I'm really happy with how this came out by the way. I'm, I'm th utterly thrilled with these houses. I really am. So you'll have to let me know what you think about them in the comments down below. I, I just think this lot was absolutely just created to have three houses on it or like a big apartment building or something. It was, it was definitely not, in my opinion, designed to have just one unit on it. Now, if you do download this from the gallery, it is available now. I did split this into three separate rental spaces so that you can have three separate families living on this one lot. Now, one thing that we should probably note and talk about as well is that these houses are partially furnished and by that I mean each house I've done the floor plan for each house it has everything in terms of the kitchens are done and some of the bathrooms and I've also kind of laid out where the living rooms are and I've done that I've illustrated that by adding a fireplace in the living space. But we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get onto the interiors. I just thought I would note that these are partially furnished, fully play tested, which means that you and your Sims can come in here and really just create your own storylines. You can make these houses your own and it allows you to put your own stamp on it. And also <laughs> it saves me the utter task of trying to decorate and clutter up three separate houses because if you are new to the channel welcome on in um <laughs> but if you've been sticking around for a while then you will know that my builds typically are quite cluttered i wouldn't say they're overly cluttered i'd just say they're quite cluttered so for me to furnish three separate houses that would take some doing it really would and i'm not saying oh well i'm lazy so i just didn't i decided not to do it i mean that might be part of it <laughs> like a teeny tiny part but i also think it's nice when you get to download these and just make them your own like you might download these and think i don't like the windows that you've used i don't like the color schemes that you've used that is absolutely fine you can change and amend these however you see fit you know by now if you download my builds you are more than welcome to change things as you see fit i am more than happy for you to do that and i just think this these really do allow you to tell that story with you and your sims and i love that i i love the introduction of multiple houses on one lot i really do I'm, I'm still obsessed with it i it feels like it's been a while since i've done something like this in reality, it's only been around a month, as I was saying earlier, but it does feel like it's been a little while. So this this is really refreshing for me. I, I I haven't done anything like this on the channel before. I created three row, ho row homes, excuse me, when the four rent pack came out, but nothing like this. And I'm just I'm just thrilled with how this came out. So if you are interested in more videos like this, then please let me know in the comments down below. I I would absolutely love to do some like different styles of builds and just drop me any ideas any ideas at all down below just drop me some ideas but yeah we've worked on from left to right kind of <laughs> you'll notice that the way that i did this i i had this plan in my head that i was <laughs> i was gonna okay i'm gonna do one and finish it and then move on to the next one and then finish it and move on to the next one the problem with that was that i decided to build the middle house first to ensure that i had enough space on either side for the other two for the other two houses excuse me which i think was a good idea i think that was definitely the right way to do it but then i found myself getting distracted by various things and then i'll hop over onto house one and then i'm working on house three and it just i don't know 
I just Rachel petted it. I, d I don't know what else to call it at this point because I tend to do this with my builds. I'll get kind of not distracted, but I'll remember something. I'll be like, oh, I remember we have that item. So I need to put that there and I need I want to add this there. And you'll also notice that I do save a few times throughout. I personally haven't had any crashing issues with my game. Oh, I've done it now. I've jinxed it. Touch wood. But... I was so scared that the game was just gonna crash and I thought, I cannot lose this build or these builds. I just can't, I can't lose them. I refuse, absolutely refuse. So you'll see me saving a few times. I really hope you don't mind. I was gonna edit that out and then I thought, is there much point really? Anyway, I also really love how these houses kind of fit in with the surrounding area. Like, they're their own entity in a way, but they're also part of the neighbourhood and I think they fit in really quite well, is what I personally think. They're not, they're not flashy houses, they're not super posh houses or anything like that. They just fit in really well. And I, that's not the vibe that I was going for with these. I wanted these to be more like down to earth, realistic family houses, which is something that I've been doing on the channel, I feel for maybe a month or two now I've been more into like the more realistic side of stuff rather than the super flashy out there houses I I'm kind of more at the moment into building houses that you would just see if you were walking down the street you know I, I'm also finding myself a lot more when I'm watching I mean I've done this for a while anyway when I'm watching tv shows or films I'm making a conscious effort to like look at the buildings, the houses within the film or TV show and I'll make a mental note, I'll be like, so for example, I was watching Grown Ups the, I think it was a few weeks ago now, I was watching Grown Ups and I saw this house, it wasn't even really, um, I was going to say it wasn't really part of the, the film, of course it was, it was more like in a cut shot, you know, so it wasn't even like a focal point for the film, but it was kind of like a cut shot and I paused the film and took a picture of the of the house and it was actually ended up being one of the houses from the two houses that I referred to earlier that I built in Evergreen Harbour. I will pop a card in the right hand cor corner for you. I can talk, I promise. I'll pop a card in the right hand corner for you for that video. If you haven't seen it already, then please do consider checking it out. But that house is actually based off of a house from grown-ups and it's not an obvious house in the film grown-ups if that makes sense but yeah I've been finding myself a lot more sort of being very aware of my surroundings whether that's when I'm watching tv or whether I'm just driving around like we have some stunning houses where we live and I just keep thinking I would love to build some of these houses on the channel so if that is something that you'd be interested in please let me know like if you want me to to build some like local houses that are relatively close to me and where I live, then I think that would be kind of a fun idea as well. But yeah, anyway, back to the build. <laughs> I did I did think about, okay, well, perhaps we could have two of these houses are up on the market or one of them's up on the market and one of them's just been sold or one of them's rented or whatever. So I do some jiggery pokery off camera and I decided that the two houses on the left are already occupied by families. The house on the right, which is this, this sort of lighter colored one here, that has just been sold or has just been rented to a family. And they've, they're have they kind of in the, in the process of moving in. So I added some boxes from the Eco Lifestyle Pack and I did this when I built my just moving in family home. Again, I'll pop a card in the right hand corner for you if you'd like to check that out. And I, I didn't do the whole like moving van or anything like that. I just did the boxes. So I just thought that was kind of a nice story line to follow if that's something that you're super into. And then something else to note as well, I did end up doing kind of partially decorating the back gardens as well because I didn't just want to leave them plain because I didn't want you having to move in here and do like loads of work. I know that there's going to be some work involved when you do don't if sorry not when if you download these houses and there's going to be a little bit of work involved in that you are going to have to furnish them with like beds for the 
bedrooms and living room furniture, dining room furniture, etc. But I didn't want the back gardens to be, because for me, back gardens are, hmm, I don't want to say they're the most boring part of the house. For me, they're, they're my Achilles heel. Like, it's just, I've never been able to do back gardens all that well in truth and i don't think that's a surprise <laughs> for anybody if you've been around for a while then you'll know that my back gardens are not my strongest point at all but i did decide that i wanted to do some at least a little bit of something with each of the back gardens so you can kind of see each of the back gardens are the same size so i was thinking maybe like the housing development that built these houses built them at a very similar time so we've got like the same windows but the panelings are different colors the floor plans are completely different the sizes are completely different but then i figured the gardens would be i said they're the same size they're actually not they're just the same length obviously the middle one is slightly wider because the house itself is bigger if that makes sense you know i'm hoping it does i'm hoping it does make sense but yeah so the back gardens are kind of yours to put your own stamp on but then there's also stuff in here for you and your sims to do if you're not really into doing the back gardens does that make sense i feel like i'm not really explaining myself all that well in this video but yeah you can see here the back gardens i, th I think this looks fantastic from the back i just i really like how this looks and again, I'm just absolutely obsessed with this idea of having multiple homes on one lot. I just think it looks so fantastic. Anyway, so we do start with the house furthest to the left. So this house, let me just pull up the information on my phone because I did take a photograph of each, what each unit is. Okay, so this house is two bedrooms and two bathrooms. So it's quite a nice sized family home and this is what i was referring to so i do put down so i do the floor plan completely i do the um the wallpapers the floorings the door placement i, I do the kitchens in terms of like okay so there are counters there's a sink and there's a fridge but then it just a lot it just means that you can move in here with your sims and add whatever you would need to like for me I would potentially add like a small dining room table in the middle there, but then the room behind it is the dining room. So that could be like the more formal dining room, you know? So yeah, this is the this is the two bedrooms upstairs and then the two bathrooms. I think one of them's the ensuite for the main bedroom and then the other bathroom is the main bathroom for the house <laughs> is what I kind of had in mind for this. And I just think it works really well, actually. I this house is a really nice size it's it's a good house for it's not a starter house but it's a really good house that would maybe be a, a second house for the family you know and and maybe they'll expand and they'll move to a bigger house or maybe they'll stay here and extend out onto the back there's really a lot of possibilities with these houses you could definitely extend them if you wanted to as well i'm i'd, I'd love to see anything that you do with these so please feel free to send me any messages or tag me. I am Rachel Paired across all the social medias. But this house, <laughs> this is the biggest house of the three. This is four bedrooms and two bathrooms. And again, doing the floor plan here and making sure that when you and your sims move in here, it's very obvious what each of the rooms are. <laughs> I'm hoping that comes across. I'm hoping that comes across at this point. But yeah, we went for a different color scheme in here as well because I didn't want all of the houses to have the same color scheme throughout because... Of course, they're going to have different vibes and things. So I, I, I tried to use similar items, but different swatches. And when I say tried, I, I kind of half tried. <laughs> like, I just, I, I, I gave it a good go. Okay, <laughs> so this is where the four bedrooms are. I don't know if this could be classed as a five bedroom house, actually, because I think like downstairs the room furthest to the right that could either be a guest bedroom it could or it could be an office it could be a playroom or something like that so i suppose technically this could be five bedrooms if you really wanted it to be so it just depends sort of how you would like to decorate this for your sims and what sort of family you envisioned as living here but this is definitely the biggest one of the three and i wanted the biggest one to be in the middle so that it kind of it 
aesthetically it looked like it made sense and aesthetically it looked the best i just think it made more sense having the biggest house in the middle and then the house furthest to the right this is another two bedroom and two bathroom unit so the downstairs is considerably considerably excuse me bigger than the house that's furthest to the left and i did also add a built-in wardrobe to the downstairs which is something that i haven't really ever done but i just thought the floor plan looked a little bit strange without that and i just thought you know what it works so that's what we're going to do so i think that's really handy if your sims just really quickly need to change their outfit before they're on the way to work or if it's snowing and they need to put their outerwear on or whatever really and yeah so the, the kitchen dining is completely open and then to the right we have the living room and then upstairs are the two bedrooms with one bathroom i don't think the main bedroom has an ensuite if i am remembering correctly and then i realized <laughs> i'd actually deleted the right hand side of the house completely and I hadn't realized so we'll leave that footage in and we'll just pretend it's not happening but anyway it allowed me to change the color scheme for the kitchen which I just think works so much better but yeah we'll, we'll just be flittering between all of the houses here but that's pretty much it for this video I really hope you enjoyed this if you'd like to download these houses from the gallery my origin ID is Rachel Pet tray files as always are linked down in the description box just below you can get them for free from sim file share but thank you so much everyone for joining me here today you all take care and I will see you again next time bye